Hello, today we're going to introduce you to Medtronic's latest professional level tool. It's the MDX650, battery, starter and alternator diagnostics in a single platform designed for the professional shop. It has a lot of features, so let's take a look right now and see what's in the tool. The feature set available in this MDX650 includes simply viewing or printing the previous or last test result. We've got a quality control mode, typically used in inventory control. We can export the data through the IR port on the side. We can perform a test. We actually have language selection in each tool. We have English, Spanish, French, and Portuguese. We also can go down and continue scrolling where we can add the address, shop address, setting the date and time. Those are all standard units. The counter, this tells you the number of tests that were done and the decisions that were accompanying each of those tests. We've got the contrast for the screen and also the temperature units, whether it's Celsius or Fahrenheit if you choose to select one of those. And you can simply use it as a voltmeter as well if you select that final screen. Now that we've got all those options identified, let's go ahead, hook up the cable set, and then I'll get in the van and we can get a test done on this particular vehicle that's in question. Okay, we're set up here in the vehicle. I have the clamps on the battery. That's all we had to do. And we're gonna perform a test, so you hit enter. Yes, we are in vehicle. It is a top post battery, regular automotive flooded battery. It is rated in CCAs. In this case, it's rated at 525, so let's go up to 525. There we go, and we hit enter. The test is completed in less than six seconds. We get a good battery result. Measured voltage, 507 CCAs measured against the 525 rating. We hit enter to start the engine. That's the next prompt. There we go, the prompt is start the engine. There we go. Next prompt is, do we want to continue with the cranking test? The answer is yes. On the starter, we went down to 11.05, and the crank time was 1.24 seconds. That's from the initial starter engage until we saw a positive voltage. But let's hit enter again and go on to the alternator test. Checking for alternator output. Now it's going to ask you to rev the engine. We're going to see an increase with the ripple coming off the alternator. That's what that graph is showing. Rev detected. We're going to idle engine. It is possible with some of the modern pulse width modulator to transistorize alternators where there is no ripple. So you simply have to hold engine RPM at about 2000 for much pushing through those sequences of tests. So now let's turn the blower motor on high, rear defrost are on, high beam headlights are on, and we're still at idle. These are all stable loads. You don't want to run the windshield wipers. You don't want to scuff a dry windshield. Moving on to the next section of the test, Checking the alternator at idle with loads on. Rev the engine. Engine rev detected, idle engine. Hit next. Actually, the test is complete at this point in time. You can go ahead and turn everything off, including the engine, as the prompt instructs you. Now we've got the result. No load voltage was 14.23. Loaded voltage was 14.51. This particular GM vehicle has a complex charging system where they actually monitor current at the battery. That's where you can see some variation in the voltages, but we're at an acceptable level. We'll look at the crank time again, 11.05 volts. That was the average voltage, and just a little over a second. And there's our battery test result. This is all set to go. <clears throat> now that we have this information captured, we can actually take the A087 accessory printer and if you chose to print it out you can simply take your results and put them directly to the printer if you have an older version Medtronic's tester that uses the same printer you'd be able to simply use this tool in combination with the printer you already have and again this is a complete documentation of all the test results we just acquired on this vehicle there we go Again, you could have had your shop name, all that stuff put in there, date and time were included. The battery test result, good battery. Cranking system normal, charging system no problems. Okay, now on the shop floor with the MDX650, we've been able to do a battery, starter, and alternator diagnostic all in sequence. We finished the job, there are no problems identified. We can go ahead, complete the billing, and put this vehicle back out on the street. It's safe to return to our customer.